BlackFacts.com presents Caribbean Revolutionaries Denmark VC Denmark VC was an African-American leader in Charleston, South Carolina. In 1781, when he was about 14, Denmark, as he was called, was one of 390 slaves whom Captain VC brought from St. Thomas to Haiti, then a French colony called St. Domaine. There the boy was sold and put to work in a sugar plantation. Since Denmark was not suited to heavy labor due to epilepsy, the captain made him his personal servant, and during the next two years Denmark saw many of the horrors of the slave trade as he sailed with the captain on his voyages between Africa and the West Indies. When in 1783 the captain decided to give up his slaving voyages and settle in Charleston, South Carolina, Denmark went with him. He remained the captain's slave for the next 17 years. When he won $1,500 in a lottery in 1800 was to buy his freedom. He paid his master $600, and with the rest of his winnings he set up a carpentry shop. In 1816, he and other free blacks established a separate black Methodist church in Charleston. By 1820, the church had about 3,000 members. V.C. was a minister of the church and he was viewed as a respectable member of the community. He spoke to workers in the plantations and on street corners, reading aloud from anti-slavery pamphlets written by whites. For years after it was opened, the black Methodist church in Charleston was closed down by the whites. V.C. and many others responded with anger and an intensified desire to fight slavery. As V.C. traveled from place to place spreading his message, the black people of the Charleston area began to look upon him as a savior. By 1822, he had a carefully arranged plan of battle and had chosen four dependable lieutenants. By the end of May, he and his four lieutenants had recruited a secret army of slaves and free blacks that was said to have numbered about 9,000. Suddenly, Charleston was bristling with soldiers, with patrols roaming the streets and guards at every bridge. Denmark Vesey was condemned to death. Although some of his followers were released, 43 were deported and 35 were hanged. Five slaves were hanged along with Vesey in Charleston early in the morning on July 2nd. When questioned about why he, as a free man, would take such risks for a slave uprising, V.C. answered both that it was because of the general outrage to blacks imposed by slavery, and also that he hoped to free his own children from the bonds of slavery. In the year 1999, three different books about V.C. were released by major publishers, showing the renewed interest in this nearly forgotten hero. Learn more at blackfacts.com.